I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Ninety-nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. You know us; we're always looking for excellence in broadcasting, and because of the fact that a lot of news anchors and weather people, reporters, are working from their homes, oh, there's just all sorts of possibilities for excellence in broadcasting. And uh, well, we highlight them. Some people might call them mistakes and mishaps, but we call them gems. And uh, we got some of the best bloopers of uh, a lot of these folks being interrupted on live TV by birds, by cats, dogs, kids. (laughs) Sorry about that. Live from her home. (laughs) Yeah, uh, Sammy wanting attention. She's getting a little excited. Good Thursday morning. A bird just flew into my house. (laughs) Well, that makes for good TV. (laughs) Good morning, everyone. It's a crazy morning over here. This news comes a day after an Oceanside City urged councilmen to open their doors despite county orders. This survivor and his wife, you guys, stop it. Seriously, you guys, stop. Stop it. Expect most of us dry. That goes for even the early evening. Uh, (laughs) Murphy, I don't like this forecast either. Hang in there, bud. (laughs) So we really want to pay attention to the initial line as it is up around the Red River. Hey, Dolly, Dolly, come here. Dolly, come here right now. Sorry. (laughs) My uh, dog was going after one of the chickens, but all is well now. (laughs) <laughs> well, that's a sentence I don't think I've ever said. Uh, that's, yeah, I've never had that said. <laughs> wow, you really get to learn a lot about some of these reporters and anchors and the, like the, their private lives when you, you, get, and you get to see how they really are. I don't know, the dog chicken lady, I feel like she just do her broadcast from there all the time. It's a good call. I feel like those aren't the only animals she has. If you have a dog and you have a chicken, don't you think you have more than just that? Yeah. yeah. Like a goat, maybe? Because, it, well, yeah, how do you go from dog to chicken? There's got to be a lot in between. Mm-hmm. I'm picturing just Tyron Daly right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. She's got dogs. She's got chickens. Yep. She's got goats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does she got anything else? Uh, a baby. And a baby. a baby. Yeah. Man, she's turning into her own little, like, little zoo going on over she there. She is like, yeah, she's it's tearing exotic. Zoo. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, watch out for the petting, though. Those goats are a little, uh, a little yeah. uh, rammy. How do you know that? Uh, because I've been up there and I've hung out. And one of those goats really doesn't like Ted Smith. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. will aggressively uh, butt him in the butt. Oh. I, I think she had to get, I don't know if she got rid of that goat or something, but I think that goat was just being too aggressive. No, no, they don't. But what yeah. she does is she'll either put, like, uh, she'll put, like, pool noodles on the horns oh. or oh. sometimes, like, tennis balls on them oh. so they're less uh, less uh, nice. pointy. So she does that to Ted, but what does she do to the goat? Yeah. <laughs> well, hey. you'll have to ask uh, the goat. 
I found Ted to be a lot easier to be around when he's got little tennis balls on his horns. I love sausage. Yeah. Well, there's that. That's the problem is that, you know, he, he thinks he sees sausage and then you got to go, okay, get the oh, tennis here. balls out. Ted like hot dog. Yeah. See, that's no. <laughs> Sausages are fantastic. Yeah. I just didn't know that Taryn took Ted in. I didn't realize that he was, you know, part, oh, yeah. of, part of the uh, menagerie she's got going on up no, there. No, he's, he's yeah. part of the commune, the, the Taryn commune. Yeah, speaking about Joe. all drink Kool-Aid and wear yeah. Nikes. It's, it's awesome. real nice, yeah. Uh, I got news for you. This uh, That's a whole different lifestyle. It is funny to think that Taryn and I will probably never have a whole lot in common with how we live our lives. No. I yeah. don't, never picture you having a goat in your backyard. No. Unless it's like Michael Jordan, there's no goat hanging out in your backyard. No, there's not. That's right. Yeah, the, I, I, uh, Maybe Tom Brady. <laughs> right. Yeah. Have, there's a better chance of Tom Brady, yeah. Michael Jordan, and Bret Hart all hanging out. Ah! In your backyard than an yeah. actual animal goat. By the way, I appreciate the fact you throw a wrestler in there. You know, if you're oh, going to talk, yeah. you talk to greatest of all time, yeah, you got to do that. You got to. Yeah, of course. I don't even know if I'd, man, I'd say Savage, but he's no longer with us. It'd be, that'd yeah. be really impossible. I respect yeah. the Bret Hart one there. Well, he's the best there is, the best there ever was, the best there ever will be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> By the way, that's another lifestyle that I will not be uh, leading a whole lot of either. You won't see me in the ring either. You don't want to wear yeah. pink spandex and watch wrestling? With yeah, me? it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Man, I'm just starting to learn a lot about you, and I'm not liking it. Sorry, pal. <laughs> I'm sorry that I won't bring goats to your wrestling party. My bad. Yeah. And that's why Taryn has an open invite. That's why she does. <laughs> yeah. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Wait. Don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You may not remember this, but I do. I was at the tender age of 24 years old when Rat came out with their hit Round and Round. Round and Round. 36 years ago, it was uh, a big one. Uh, and it was it, a big one. It was. It hit like number 18 on the Billboard charts 36 years ago. Uh, I remember the tune, one of the big tunes of my time. And... Um, it's back because of because of Geico, which does a really good job with their commercials. And uh, it's uh, a Geico ad where a couple talks about the rat problem in their house. Then it shows rat performing in their basement, kitchen, and bathroom. The new house is amazing. So much character. Original crown molding. Walk-in closets. We do have a rat problem. <laughs> They're in the basement. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. It does help us save. Now they're in their kitchen. <laughs> and the look on a couple's face. Face For is bundling like, made easy. Go to Geico.com. Guys look pretty good, actually, I have to say. Yeah. The rat guys have aged well. Well, I don't know if it's all the original members of rat. I know the singer is, but I'm not sure which are the original. Oh, that, that was the only one they, that I could see. They the look picture. like a bunch of older. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean, mean. I wish I looked that good. I mean, you know, seriously, because we're well, probably you know, hard partying age. and drugs would have done that for you, man. I know. I should have done groupies. more hard partying and drugs. I really I really ruined my life. And long hair and uh, jackets without shirts underneath them. Yeah, that's the These one. These are the answers to all of your questions. Gosh, I would have you- looked amazing with a jacket. Do you think the guys in Wasp are hitting up Geico to be like, do you guys have a Wasp problem too? Please. Yeah, like, yeah, Dude, you've just out. come up with a great follow-up commercial. Yeah. Seriously. 
And then like striper, like I don't know, like some like striping home siding. Well, the, the stripers are kind of a fish. Can they say they're having a fish problem? Uh, was anybody, nobody know. knows what a striper is, so that probably not. Yeah, you can go with yeah. bees with striper, right? That's true because their 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 color scheme was always black and, and yellow. Mm-hmm. Like their drums had black and yellow stripes. All right, kids, we're almost onto an idea. All right, we got the second commercial. The third one's a little iffy, but we we, we got to keep working on. This it. is brilliant, though, man. All of a sudden, people are listening to Rat again. Yeah, they're back on the charts. People care. That's awesome. What do they have ever thought? Like, they probably were like, look, at the end of the day, they're probably like, yeah, Geico, you want to use our song and you're going to pay us for it? Man, we haven't really seen that much kind of money since back in the day. We'll take the money. And then all of a sudden, now they're getting record sales because people are going back online to listen to their songs. And if they care to, maybe they're going to get to go perform places. Oh, yeah, they're still out. And, oh, not, not right now. They're not out and about. But, you know, they've been, Oh, they were? Okay. Yeah, they would play like some of the casinos. I think the new original is open for Rat. At one of the shows that we oh, did. Oh, well, th- that's fantastic for them, especially if they're still, yeah. you know, while, you know, when we all can get back to normal, that they were still a traveling band. I'm pretty sure we played with them. It was one of the old school 80s you bands. You know what? It's all those hard, drug- hard drugs and the rock and roll lifestyle you just can't remember. Well, I just recall, like, not being allowed backstage. <laughs> it's like, wow. we're like, that's old school right yeah, there. Yeah, like, oh, wow, the headliner won't even let us, like, we, yeah. had, like, we had, like, a little corner. And there's, you know, the. Wow, so Rats still- has got a lot of room. Yeah. But that was just their thing. Rats, like, you know what? I don't care where we are. We are the best, and we are amazing, and you get out of our sight. Man, yeah. It was All like right. one of those moments where, like, yeah, we are the openers. We're being treated like crap. Yeah, good job. Headliner. This is awesome. Wow. You know what? That's you're, you're a better man than me, because I think I might have been a lot meaner about the I whole think, situation. I don't like it. I, honestly, I don't really care about backstage. Like, I've never been that person that wants to just spend all my, all my time in the back area, because it's just not fun. It's just a bunch of people Can trying to like that? be just, cool. <laughs> I'd rather watch them from the front anyway. I Listen, I've always liked watching from the front. Someone says uh, it's two original members of Rat, singer and bass player. All right. Well, I mean, look, you at least got somebody. So I brought up a good point. You know what you take care of rats with? Poison. Oh, oh that's wow. A, that is a really good second commercial. And then when things get back to whatever normal is going to be in the future, we could have Geico Fest, and it's all the metal bands that they use in their Geico commercials. I like this idea. <laughs> Actually, that's not a <laughs> that's bad idea. Really if, if, if you can get enough, if you can get three bands that you can put in your commercials, yeah. that's a good show. You got Rat. Now we've got Poison. And then Wasp. Wasp. Yeah. I don't oh, know if geez. the guy from Wasp is still alive. All right. Well, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. He was in that decline of Western civilization part two that was like, that dude was having some troubles. And then when, I was going to say, and then the next thing that could come up with it is Scorpion. Mm -hmm. Scorpions? They have to get rid of Scorpions next. Damn. And maybe they miss a few of their payments, and now the homeowners of that house are now on Skid Row. Oh, (laughs) jeez. Wow. And then they yeah. form a Motley Crue. Yep. Okay. Well, this, now we're asking for way too much because decide, Motley Crue is going to be an expensive commercial. And they decide to get their, their insurance back by using Guns and Roses. <laughs> but why the roses? Yeah. Uh, for the ladies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds just as good as anything else. See, again, I want to say to you and Rev and Danny, you need a, you need a board of directors so that they can tell you when it's time to leave the room and they can start executing the ideas. The texture says they also have a problem with the air quality in their home. It sucks, so they need to have air supply. Nice. Okay, now we're like we're we're comp- now we're in a completely different genre. We're Who going cares? From, we're going from <laughs> metal to yacht rock. Can we do something with cake? It's like, hey, we you can know, just have cake. We brought okay. cake over. See, you this know, new is new neighbor. You know when they say this no such thing? Yes. This does not fit in with this show. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying. But to air supply up. does. I'd rather air supply would make more sense than cake. But I I'd rather, ha- yeah, I'd rather have cake. <laughs> you, you mean cake the food or cake the band? Yes. Both. Yes. I would say the cake the food fits into any show. Cake the yeah. band, I agree with Steve. It's, it's a particular kind of show. Oh, although if we have this big concert and then backstage, like, hey, come backstage. We've got catering. If you want in the other room, cake is there. And you go in there and you're all excited because you're going to eat cake and it's just the band cake playing an intimate <laughs> performance for the backstage people. You have given me an idea for a new commercial. <laughs> Which is? They bought a house and they said there'd be cake. And instead it's cake playing Perfect. music. I like that. That's a good commercial. All right, it's starting to form an idea. So it says they've already used Europe uh, and Survivor in their commercials in the past. Yeah, they did the final countdown a while back. Oh, oh my that's gosh. right. This, that, this festival yeah. is getting better by the they minute. They also, I mean, he's already passed, but they used Eddie Money as well for two tickets. Oh, that's right. They did. Oh, it's unfortunate that Eddie's not with yeah, us anymore. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, they've been Geico, doing this a while. Because Eddie was touring too. He was doing stuff. Who's the butt rocker at Geico? 
Is it the gecko or is it like the actual CEO? Well, the gecko is always kind of cool. You know what I mean? He, so I wouldn't be surprised if the gecko is the butt rocker. And I figured out when you guys performed with Rat, your new originals. It you was did. Back like at the Halloween show, I think, November 1st, 2009. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was, I was dressed as Roddy Piper. Yeah. Hot Rod. All right. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was when I realized that I was my, my girlfriend was a keeper and one day would marry her because I was Roddy Piper for Halloween and she dressed up as the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan. Oh, oh I remember awesome. that. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking about your wife now, right? Yes. Because, I mean, you still could have a girlfriend that's a keeper. I mean, you, you just don't know. You know, no. this, this is, well, this is America, buddy. I mean, you know, we're, we're living in modern times. I'm sure you could do that in France as well, BJ. Oh, no, the French don't know how to do anything as good as America. Man, I'm, someone says we've got to figure out a way to get Cinderella on this show. Absolutely. Well. They play right, at mi- like right before midnight. Isn't that like with Cinderella and the That's the, the pumpkin, yes. Yeah, yeah. good yeah. job. Oh, and then they end with the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> None of this is making sense. <laughs> well, it's a good show. I mean, the bottom line is, is, does it have to make sense if we actually get a good show? It hits midnight. The pumpkin carriage turns into Billy Corgan. Yes. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so it says rat. You use poison to get rid of rat, but then there was an unfortunate accident, and you needed the cure. Oh, oh nice. nice. <laughs> I also would like to go back to Rev's idea. I've got a better idea that Steve huh. will enjoy. Instead of the pumpkin turning into Billy Corgan, instead we have Gallagher come out and smash the pumpkin, and then Billy Corgan just Ooh. emerges. Uh, Boom. Then we get Gallagher and we get the oh, Gallagher. You know? Okay, I see like what you're saying. he smashes a watermelon, he'll smash the pumpkin. Oh, and then Billy Corgan walks out of the yeah, pumpkin. Boom. I thought you were saying it turns into Billy Corgan and then he smashes Billy Corgan. No. I'm like, where are you going with this? Ooh. No, that's not. We don't want to do that to Billy. We have another suggestion for the backstage catering. You know, you could go into this room and get some cake, or you could also enjoy some meatloaf in the other room. Yes! You do not want to enjoy some meatloaf. Loaf. You do not want to <laughs> with me. Yeah, you really don't. Yeah. That'd be a great you guy. look in my eyes. I am the last person in the world you ever yeah. want to with. Geico I... Fest is going to be the greatest festival of all time. <laughs> I would just like to say uh, to Meatloaf that when I look in your eyes, uh, you're the last person I want to do anything with. <laughs> I mean, really, let alone F with, I think maybe so, I don't even want to be six, I don't even want to be socially distant from you, sir. So you're saying you won't do that. I won't do that, <laughs> yes. How great would it be if Geico Fest, sponsored by State Farm? Uh, <laughs> they don't even have to sponsor okay, us. you are crossing the streams on this That's in a way. That's the best part. This is, this is why, you know, this is why you're not a good businessman. You know, we, we but, but you know what, I like most of your ideas, kid. You really, you know, you, most, you got some good ideas, kid. Sponsored by State Farm, and that's the what that room could also have some corn. Nice, oh, good call. And and then with cake, you need some vanilla ice frosting. Well, listen, and in order to make this whole thing happen, you have to have the, you have to have the right tool. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get tool. Yeah, I don't think tool is going to work. Oh, out. of all the bands, you think tool will be the toughest? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's either them or uh, Striper. I don't know. Both of those bands are pretty hard to get. Yeah, it's sometimes to get. It's tough to get tool to do anything that tool even wants to do. Sometimes, so yeah. Oh, someone has a good question though. Did Top Pot put weed in your donuts? Probably. <laughs> you know, I didn't think of that possibility, but it's been a happy day. So I well, I will say, why not? Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. Can I leave things off of a bankruptcy, like my car? You have to list all of your assets and creditors when you file bankruptcy. So by, you would have to tell the, the court and the trustee that you have the car or that you have a car loan. Uh, you could say that I want to keep my car and continue to make my payments on the car. Uh, but the, the court will need to know that you have a car and, and that may, you may have a payment on the car. So by leaving it off the bankruptcy, if you mean that you cannot disclose it to the court, the answer to that is no, you must disclose it. However, that does not mean that you'll lose those assets. You'll be able to keep things like a car and a house in almost all cases, but you must disclose them to the court. Um, but you'll need to continue to make payments on a house or a car that you intend to keep. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on the wind.